100. Most difficult airport in Greece for sure, and one of the most difficult airports in the, the world. It's uh, Captain Sony uh, landing. We're ready to fly back the road. Hey, let's go island hopping in Greece. Welcome on board on a flight of the uh, Olympic and Aegean flight. Wow, this is very interesting. Today I'm gonna fly back to Athens. It's so beautiful, the landscape. Looking forward to another beautiful day to island hopping in Greece. Hello everybody, my name is Tergios Magalhos. We're in Aegean Hagar in Athens. We are going to see our 12 gear check. We are in the cabin of an A320 naked. We have removed all the seats and now we are in the process of removing the floor panels and the interior of the cabin. After we remove them, we are going to inspect everything inside the airplane. Hydraulic pipes, wiring and the structure. And now they are removing the panels, the galleys and the floor panels in order to make the appropriate inspections, the appropriate cleaning. We are going to make it brand new. What is this you're writing? The part number and the fin number of the position of the floor panels. We're doing an axing. We're moving the floor panels so we have inspection on the ribs and the area of the emergency exit. This is uh, the bones of the 320. Yes. This is one inside. What is this noise? This is a hydraulic pump that is operating, so you can hear the hydraulic pressure. It feels like somebody's chainsawing something, like somebody's cutting the floor with this sound. This is a part of the passenger service unit. It is the lights and the call buttons, as you can see from below. Ah. And we have lowered them in order to inspect them and check them, clean them and make them new again. What's this bulky thing in the middle here? This is the galley, but we have removed it to inspect the rear of the airplane, the tail section. Here is where the ovens we place, and here where we place the trolley when we fly. Now we have removed it, and we are going to clean it, we are going to inspect it, and we are going to reborn it. This is the rear side of the airplane. As you see, we have removed the galleys and the toilets. So the airplane now is completely empty. And we have removed also the panels from the ceiling, and the panels at the rear and we will start our inspections later on It's a pressurized bulkhead Pressurized bulkhead The top of the 320 tail we will show you what we are doing up there we inspect the tail section of the airplane Ok, let's go Let's go Wow So, we are almost on the top Here we have opened the rudder area These three, one, two, three are the actuators that are moving the rudder Left and right, hydraulic action. Okay. Three different hydraulic systems for system safety. In case that one fails, you have two more. Yes, for redundancy. From here, you have another view of the fuselage of the airplane. It's pretty impressive. We climb up the stairs. Now we're 20 meter high, level with the A320 tail. Here you can touch the horizontal stabilizer. That's the perk come to engineering. You got to see all the stuff behind the scenes. The actuator holding the rudder and now touching the stabilizer. Strong man, not even moving. So Sam, here we have removed all the panels and we are going to inspect the area. This one you can see it's uh, the reservoir from the blue hydraulic system. One of the three that the airplane has. Oh, three of them they have. Yes. Here is the one of them, the reservoir, one of these three. And this big duct here is from the APU, is coming and it is carrying pressure air in order to start the engines. My colleagues here, they will move the transportation base below the engine because we are going to remove the engine and then we will remove also the pylon for inspection. Do you know what they are doing now? No, I have no idea. Uh, they are doing the preparation to remove the thrust reverser of the engine. We are going to remove the engine and we are going to remove also the pylon. So now our colleagues here are removing the parts of the engine. Do you know what is this? No, I don't know. This is the brain of the engine. It cost about 200,000 euros. Whoa. And it controls the engine. It's a, a computer. It's a computer of the engine. Yes. Sam, do you know what these are? It looks like some engine cowling removed. Yes, it is the thrust reversers of the engine, it's the rear. Oh, the thrust reverser on the 320. Yes, it's assisting the airplane to braking when it lands. 
So we have removed them, we have placed them in a special base and we are going to inspect them. Sam, do you know what are inside here? In under the nose? Yes. Wow, this is interesting. Uh, oh. You can see a lot of electronics, a yeah. lot of computers inside. This is the avionics bay. One of the three avionics bays that we have in the Nerva Safety This is the newest member of the family. It's the first A321neo. We're going to have three more, so show total four. We have also the opportunity to power up the airplane. First, we have to power up external generator to give power to the airplane. Then, we will give power to the cockpit. Let's power up. Are you saying I'm the first person to open a door? Exactly. On you this brand the new? First one, the first passenger. Wow. This is such an honor, actually. First time a brand new plane to open the door in his home base here. Let's lift it up. Door? Exactly. Now open it. Wow! Welcome on board! We're gonna go inside a brand new plane! So just press this switch. Press this to power up? Forward. Yes, and the cabin will light up. Oh, beautiful. My god, I'm wearing a mask, but I gotta tell you the smell is amazing! It smells like a new car! So Sam, we are in the cockpit of our brand new A321neo. How do you feel that you are a captain? Yeah, I'm feeling great, man. Look, I'm playing with the joystick here, left and right. See, there's a trigger here, push and talk. Autopilot is engaged. Yeah, but uh, there's no power inside. How do you power yes, up the uh, cockpit? Let's uh, give some life to the airplane. Yeah. So, just press this button. Just press this yes, button here. The available. The external power. Yes. Oh, Whoa. something came on. Oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, the screen is coming on. Oh. Finally, we have air conditioning. Whew. How cool is this? It's like almost a hundred million toy at my disposal and I'm one of the first sitting here. I'm at the Aegean Business Class Lounge here. Pretty good lounge, comfortable sitting, very quiet. I was told the best part of this lounge pre-COVID was the hot snacks they served. But obviously right now everything is like this, it's sealed, pre-packaged. There's still quite a lot of choice, to be honest here, but I hope they bring back the uh, old food eventually. I think Greece has done quite well as a country to fight COVID. They have very strict protocols and follow all the regulations and you know things like this, and hopefully eventually this will pay off. See ya, bye. Have a nice flight. So on this trip to Samos, my friend Nick is joining me, and he was telling me every domestic flight, you take a bus boarding on a remote. Yeah. It can get very hot in the summer, I can see you smiling through the mask. Yeah. That's a nice mask to get. Our flight Athens to Samos. Flight time is approximately 40 minutes. Samos is a very particular airport. It's a category Charlie. The approach is not uh, the usual approach that we're making in other airports. It has a high terrain and it's uh, very limited to for, for our operation. Today we're gonna fly at flight level 180. Speed is approximately 300 knots. Mykonos, Ikaria, and after Ikaria we're gonna start our descent towards the airport of Samos. My first officer is uh, Mr. Pascalinos Gerasimos. Today we are making a training flight. He is the the captain. And He's I gonna be upgraded to captain soon. Upgraded to open, yes. Right, and right. You're monitoring. The line training captain. To fly the Dash 8? I like it very much. It's amazing. Really? It's a small yes. airplane. Yes, that's why. Oh, you like small airplane. How many flights do you have to do every day, like island hopping? 
How many times do you have to fly? About three flights, uh, three, uh, six legs. Okay, three round trips, six flights. You fly a lot, you fly more than everybody. I like it. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, I like to fly Good to Olympic. know. Icaria, the island that we are passing, uh, it is named after Icarus. Icarus was the um, Asper mythology. He flew over the Aegean Sea and the sun burned his uh, wings, so he fell into the Aegean Sea. Hey Captain, good landing, huh? Yes. First officer is landing. Yes. Yeah, good landing. Good and uh, Thank you. did he pass the check ride? Yes, uh, the flight was successful. Uh, he has the company standards, so his performance is uh, is okay, and uh, he passed uh, his uh, final check. Okay, he's gonna be a captain well soon. Done. Well, well done. done. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, the sun is shining. Beautiful arrival at Samos. Love the approach. Last year we have uh, more than 30,000 uh, refugees here in Samos Island. How many? 30,000. 12,000. 12, uh, 12, Sam, uh, this is the uh, main city of Samos. Uh, this is uh, what they have built through the years. And this is the new hotspot that they have for the uh, immigrants that come into Ireland. Not bad if you ask me because they have a view down the water. It's a lot better than my whole house view. The uh, black part there on the mountain is the fire which was caused this summer. Uh, it was caused by a fire uh, by the immigrants which they placed uh, since there were uh, cases uh, of violence. This is what you call a room with a view. Sun just faded behind the mountain. It's dinner time and other souvlaki. Maybe pastizio. Today the weather changed, uh, the Aegean Sea has become rough and look at that, the big storm is coming behind, getting really really windy here. In Samos I was expecting to see tourists, which I didn't see many tourists, but I've seen a lot of immigrants and refugees come from all over the world. From which country you're from? We are from Afghanistan. Afghanistan. How long in Greece? One year. One year. One year. No fish? Where are you from? From Kuwait. From Kuwait? Yes. Mustafa. 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 Ahmed. Ahmed. Mustafa and Ahmed. Okay, nice meeting you. This is Sikura. This is uh, pure alcohol. 40% volume. 40%? Yeah, that's cool. This is gonna kill all the virus and germs, right? It's burning inside. This showroom here, George, is an Apple leaf hat, right? And he opened his store in 1979 nine, when the uh, team of Napoli, the football team, won the championship. Since then, they haven't won anything else. Napoli forever. Napoli forever? Yes. Really, really good food. If you come to Samos, you have to come to these Napoli restaurants. Really good with George. Yes. <laughs> These are stuffed, stuffed tomatoes and stuffed peppers, um, which is uh, traditional Greek. And here we have sudukakia, which is mince with uh, tomato sauce, and it's very nice uh, when you include also rice. This is Pythagorio village. Pythagorio is the most tourist place in Samos. It's the village that uh, the mathematician Pythagoras was born. Oh, this is the famous uh, triangle, the guy sold Pythagoras. Uh, how many uh, kilometers? It's 700 meters. Only 700 meters to Turkey. Turkey. Wow. This is Turkey, you can see it. You can see Turkey on the other yeah. side, yeah, wow. Nice to meet you, Sam. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. See you.
here come our planes, uh, 30 minutes late, arrived just to uh, clear the storm. It's not quite the engine of N22. You have a it's a new one? generation, so the beads are a little bit bigger. So ah, the beads are a little bit bigger. Yeah. Hi. Hey, okay, nice to see both of you. I like the scarf you have. That ah, is nice. Thank you. Very good. Hi, Sam. I'm Katerina, first officer of the flight. This is Captain Panagiotis, and we're taking back to Athens today. We're gonna fly at 20,000 feet. It's gonna be a really nice flight, really calm. Did you have some weather problem when you came in because there were a storm? Yeah, it was a bit cloudy, you can see it. Uh, but the landing uh, finally was okay. All right, pleasure to fly with both of you. Thank and you. see you on landing. Have a nice flight. We reminded the use of the face mask as mandatory throughout the whole flight. We are ready for our departure. We had a delay to our arrival due to weather conditions at the airport of Samos. We expect the flight time of about 40 minutes. The weather at Athens now is calm. There was on the ground 23 degrees of Celsius. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you so you much. Enjoy the flight. Yeah, thank whose landing so that much. was? It was mine that time. And yeah, nice, it wasn't too very bad. Very nice day in the road. Yeah, thank you. Nice to see you. Very bye bye. Nice to see bye. you. Look at here. This was the old Athens International Airport site here. And 19 years ago in 2001, I was here spotting before they moved to the new airport. There's still some airplanes here actually. The Olympic 747, 72 and 73 in the background and uh, happy to see, you know, I felt nostalgic here. Hello there, my name is Nicholas. Um, I've been coming here to the airport of Alinico in Greece uh, since the age of seven. Uh, I have a lot of histories uh, to say, but the best one is that I used to come on a daily basis with my father who used to drive me down the corner in order to see the planes coming in and taking off. A little bit sad, but it's great to see the old blue Olympic livery in the cheat line, classic. After a great day at the airport, it's time to go to eat now. You like Greek you like it. And this is the famous one. This is the souvlaki. So look at this, we got uh, lamb, chicken, pork souvlaki, and um, kebabs, yeah. Plenty of yummy food here. So here is another really, really delicious dish. This dish is called Yao Lu. So it's like yogurt on top and you have chicken and pita bread underneath it. Sam, do you know that back in 1978, an Olympic Airlines flight, a B Boeing 747, took off from Athens and um, as it was taking off, number three engine failed and the plane could not, get, could not pick up any height and eventually the uh, pilot managed to bring her back in 91 seconds, taking a very good decision of bringing her back. It landed, saving 420 people, and this pilot is a national hero for Greece, and his name is Captain Megadis. Sam, there's a surprise waiting for you at the rooftop. You Let's go. See? And the beautiful Greek view. Wow. Oh my God, look at that. That's beautiful. This was a plane spotter's paradise 20 years ago. Every plane spotter is on the rooftop here, looking over the old airport on approach. Sam, this is the mountain that Captain Migales tried to save the plane from crashing. That's the Mount of Alim. So down there, next to the tower of Elinico Airport. It's 
Beautiful, fantastic sunset here.